Hey everybody, Loose Connection here. Got another little tool review that I'm going to be doing here for the Klein Hybrid Pliers, which is a combination between the Lyman's pliers and strippers. Uh, so far it seems to actually be a pretty good tool. Uh, so let's get straight into it. So right away you can't help but notice that it's actually got a square nosed head, which actually works really good for twisting wires. So if you're doing any kind of makeup in any kind of situation in combination with the strippers, it really helps out. And one thing I like about that that they changed about the previous model that they came out with is that you'll notice that the cutters is a lot of wide material in there and it does make it somewhat difficult for actually cutting some of your larger gauge wires like number 10s, number 8s and so forth. And what they did with these is they gave it a little bit more space and a little bit more thinner profile so it actually cuts through those set wires from actually a little bit easier and then it actually has that crimp function too, which is actually kind of reminiscent if you actually have the model of lineman pliers that has the crimp and again, the square nosed head. So basically it's just a combination between lineman pliers and then just kind of your normal old strippers. These are just some generic models that I use. But so far from what I've used it in the field, it actually works pretty good. For like, for resi guys, you know, you can stick it in your pocket with your 10 and one and go around your day and that's probably all you're going to need. But for commercial guys, you probably just want to throw this in your tool pouch and just have it for makeup and so, you know. So overall, I'd recommend it for just about any commercial electrician, any residential electrician, industrial, eh, maybe not so much, depending on how much makeup work. It's not really good for control work, I wouldn't think, for something like that. So you can also cut 632 and 832 screws, which again is something that is pretty common amongst strippers. So overall, it's it's a pretty good tool. I've used it in the field so far, and it's I would recommend it a lot amongst resi guys because it's one of them tools that you could actually use. It does work for pounding staples in. It does seem tough enough for that. It's not quite heavy a duty enough as the lineman's pliers. It seems to have like the the needle nose handles on it which is common amongst clients, uh, not rated for live electrical work, so only work on dead circuits. And But I would easily recommend it against resi guys, commercial guys, uh, industrial guys, not so much because you're probably going to be using a ratcheting crimper for probably using the crimp function, so it's probably not going to be any use to anything above commercial guys. But so far, it seems to be a pretty good tool and it's going to make its way into my tool pouch, so so, and then just to show, it strips anything from number 10 solid wire to number 14 solid wire. And it does a pretty good job of it. It works just like any other strippers. And again, it's got that square nosed head for twisting wires together. Which is pretty dang good if you were going to be doing a lot of makeup and you want one tool to carry around. So, not that bad of a tool actually. Works pretty good. And again, it strips anything from number 14 to number 10 solid to number 12 stranded to number 16 stranded. So, so just wanted to say thanks to anybody who watched. If you uh, like what you see, hit a like or subscribe. Uh, for coming up later on, I'll probably be doing some reviews on the FLIR thermal imaging camera and the FLIR multimeter. So stay tuned. Thank you.